Parked amidst the cornfields, it's baseball at Field of Dreams in Iowa. It'll be Diamond Dynasty action this evening between the Gators and the Bears. Going to be an interesting contrast in styles in this one as one of baseball's hardest throwers goes head-to-head -head with a top finesse arm. Next, now to the plate, here is Willie Mays. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. And here's a fastball called for strike one. No swing on the knuckle curve, even at one and one. Now here's the pitch. Game time temperature tonight, a comfortable 66 degrees at first pitch. One and two as he chases the slider. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. Then the leadoff man is gone to start the evening. No one on with one down. And that'll bring in Tommy Edmond. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. So the bases are empty here with two gone. And in strides the familiar waddle of pops, Willie Stargell. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. And that swung on and missed on a pitch down, one and one. And now a pitch on the way. Squared that one up just a little late. Bases are empty here with two men out. Pulled toward right center field. And he gets there, makes the running play, and that... And now in the box, A.J. Pollock. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Ground ball left side. Defense set up perfectly. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. And now here is Harrison Bader. Harrison. Major. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Out in front here is this one scorched. Foul to the left. Man, the batter's eyes lit up right there. A hanger just a little bit out in front. Couldn't keep it fair. Goodness. 0 oh 2 now. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. And there's one down now. So now a runner on at second with one away. And Vlad Guerrero digs in at the plate. Here's the first pitch. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Mays is back to the track as he takes it for route number two. The relay. Throw back to second, and that's a double play. Here's Robbie Grossman. He'll get us started in the top of the second. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1 and 0. Now a good pitch on the inside part of the plate ties him up and it's 1 and 1. Not much you could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. And this ball runs away for ball 2. 2 and 1. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. 2-2 two -two pitch is fouled away. 
I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. So bases are empty with one gone, and that'll bring up Yasmani Grandal. Bottom part of the zone, and the slider is in there for a called strike. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing and two. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. One and one the count. And he's way off balance with the swing there. Fouled off. No score here as we play inning number two. Again, he sends it out of play. Struck him out, so he makes quick work. Last half of the second set to go, and next will be the imposing power bat, Brad Miller. Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup, nothing in one. Great execution of that changeup right there. Great arm action. Batter was totally out front on that one. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Batting fifth. First offering on its way. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. It is gone. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter. And every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno. Number one, man. you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else. And he did just that. Next up will be Kyle Farmer. And he puts it on the ground to second. And that's through for a hit. Batting seven. The first baseman. Jonathan. Here's Jonathan Scope now. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Tucker waits on it. Two down. Now it'll be Austin Riley. He takes his hit. first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. From the stretch. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. On to Stargill at first, and the side is retired. Striding in is Kyle Tucker, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Tucker can be considered a bit of a one-dimensional hitter, I guess, in terms of making contact. He tends to see the ball out of right-handed pitcher's hands well, but doesn't seem to pick up the left-handers at the same level. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. So it was a swinging strike three. Kyle Tucker goes down for the first out here in inning number three. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 and 1. Fastball called for strike two. Wow, that's four straight K's. He's knocking them down. He's looking for number five right here. You can tell this guy on the mound, he is pitching with a whole lot of confidence in this one. Fouled away. Ready on one and two. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. Freddie Peralta is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. 
Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. Count now a ball and a strike. And it's one and two. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings, and this team up there got him looking, and that'll do. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and next will be the pitcher, Walker Bueller. No pitcher. First pitch fastball Walker. swung on and missed 0 and 1. Bueller. Oh, has him looking silly here. It's 0 and 2. Real ugly 0 1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout, knowing you have this guy way off balance. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And a nice job to get the ball in quickly. He'll be held to a single here with nobody out. The left fielder, number 11, AJ. At the plate now, AJ Pollock. As he'll swing and lift a fly ball to right center. Tucker waits on it, makes the play one away. So a runner at first with one out yeah, now. Batter. And into Center bat field. next, one of the fastest Harrison. players in all of baseball, Harrison Major. Bader. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. He'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. Now bat right fielder. Vladimir. Into the box Go. now, Vladimir Guerrero. Guerrero. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. And a big swing and miss, and Vlad not holding back there falls behind 0-2. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Strike three called, and now he's now one out away from baseball. getting out of this. As the fastball is swung on and missed. Good location down at the knees for strike one. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Ranging back is Mays. Long run, but he gets there to track this. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Willie Mays. Still a big bagel in that hit column, and this is where the frustration can start setting in on a team if they're not careful. It's never a good feeling when you know the guy out there on the mound is completely shutting you down. A ball and a strike. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Trying to send him packing for the second time. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. He's around first, heading for two. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he is in to third with a leadoff triple. Now that, that brings in Tommy Edmond. No balls in one strike. Struck out in his first at bat. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Pollock has a read on it. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And to score from third, the tying run. Next to dig in, Robbie Grossman. Base is empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 1. Time to be aggressive with these hitters now. After that sack fly, now it's time to try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. And it's fouled away. And another foul ball. And he will 
will strike him out. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And ambling over to the batter's box is Carlos Correa. Well, Matty, we know he's got the timing on the fastball locked in. That's what he got a hold of on that home run in the previous at bat. You do not come off the heater. Have to be leery of the off speed. But stay on the fastball. He's got to throw it again. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Lined into right, a base hit. Number 17, Kyle. Stepping in now, Farmer. Kyle Farmer, as he rips it on the ground to second. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Now that the first baseman, Jonathan. So that'll bring up Jonathan Scope, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. and Flew out in his only at-bat so far. Now he turns and smokes this one into deep center field. Mays is there and he makes the catch for the out. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Now batting. Next third it'll be Austin Riley. Riley. Here's the first pitch to him. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Hey, this is a spot as a pitcher right now. You want to get a little bit greedy. Ideal would be to roll up a two ball. At worst, try to get yourself a strikeout. Fielded cleanly. The second for one. Back to Stargell for the double. About 54. And here's the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1 and 0. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Now here's the first offering. Rukna Odor stands in as he looks at ball one here. Late that time for a strike. A ball and two strikes. Wow, that was an ugly swing right there, and that tells us all we need to know. Nobody's picking the baseball up off this guy. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Can we be honest here? That was a terrible pitch. That was right over the heart of the plate. Two strikes on the guy. He is lucky he's getting this pitch back. Got him to go down swinging there. Rukna Dodor becomes the second out here in inning number five. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw on to first, gets it. Digging in will be Walker Bueller. He singled first time up. Now the pitch. Hit in the air to center field. Chasing after it is Mays. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Back to the top of the order now. And that will bring up A.J. Pollock. Into the corner and slicing foul. The wind up and the 0-1. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on to first takes care of him. Two very quick outs to start the home fifth. And that'll bring up the former top prospect, Harrison Bader. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. The bat, the right fielder. Into the box, Vladimir Guerrero. As he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now a ball ripped into deep center field. Mays able to track it down for the top half of the sixth about to get started. And up next, Nico Horner. The shortstop. Nico. As he sends it on the ground to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Next to stand in is Freddy Peralta. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. In there for strike one. 
it's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Lifted down the line and left. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Scope will look this one in, and there are two away now. And now, Willie Mays, a hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Good spot to be in right now as a hitter. Count your favor, 1-0. and oh. Good time to get a fastball and turn it loose. In for a strike, it's one and one. One and two. And he's got another one. Now to back, Brad Miller. He'll have the opportunity to kick things off as we begin the home sixth. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Boy, he sped him up in this at-bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at-bat. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. No batter. Number one. Here's Carlos Correa now. He swings and grounds it to short. There's one to Pops and that finishes off the double play. So base is empty now after now the double it. play Catcher. and that'll bring Kyle. forth the slugging shortstop Farmer. Kyle Farmer and it's grounded just foul down the line. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1 outside for a ball 1 and 1. Man this guy's had their number all game long up down in and out he's pitching very well hit in the air to center field Mays will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move and that into the box Tommy Edmond he went down on strikes in his last at bat yeah he didn't put up much of a fight either Maddie gotta find a way can't go down three pitches I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him you have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Digging in next, Willie Stargell notched an RBI on the sack fly in his previous turn at the plate. Now here's the first offering. Now here's a swing by Stargell, and he gets a lot of this pitch out to deep right field. And gone! An absolute bomb. Standing in now, Robbie Grossman. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Big swing at the knuckle curve gets nothing but air. 0 and 2 now. 0 2 count. You could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. Behind 0-2 now. Looking to send him packing again. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. That was another good pitch and a tough call that could have gone either way. He couldn't get him to bite on it again, so the count's gone from 0-2 to 3-2. Now the count. And a 
a nope. fastball misses there. Ball four. Here's Rogna Dodor now, and he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. And that one yanked just foul. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. Pollock looking up, and that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. So now to the plate, Kyle Tucker. As he'll take one on the inside corner at the knees, it's strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Man, and he's nowhere near that pitch. It's two and two. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Long run for the right fielder. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring up Jonathan Scope to hit next. The first baseman. As he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. 0-1, here's the pitch. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Now batting, third baseman, Austin. Riley. At the plate now, Austin Riley. There's a shot out to right center field. He's in at second safely as a run also comes in to score, making it a two run ball game. Ryan Reynolds will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. First pitch coming, here it is. And he puts it on the ground in the second. Scooped up, and he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. So next to bat will be A.J. Pollock. And as he bats, he represents the potential tying run. He's set. Here it comes. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Mays waits on it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. But not in time as the run scores, and the lead is trimmed to one. So no one on now after the sack fly. And next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Harrison Bader. Oh, a mistake with location there as that changeup is drilled to left field. And that'll be one he'll regret as that ball is well out of here, a home run. Big time at bat right there. Team trailing and he ties it up with a bomb. Interested to see how this one finishes out. Pedro Stroke is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Nicky Lopez is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. And he fouls this one off. And boy was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. Now this one is blasted to left field and there's no doubt about it. Back to back jacks. Yeah that was solid strategy going with the right handed reliever there looking for the right on right advantage but he took that strategy and blasted it into the outfield stands. Got on the bump just didn't execute the pitch he wanted. Now that is the second base to the plate now Brad Miller as he swings and grounds it toward the hole and the throw to first is in time but the damage has been done as the side is retired
Jordan Penn enters from the pen to start the eighth, and it's quite possible they'll ask him to pitch two full innings to close this out. Ready to begin the eighth, and up next, Nico Horner. The shortstop, Nico. First offering on its way. Nen is pretty much a manager's dream coming out of the bullpen. High strikeouts, doesn't walk a lot of batters, usually a recipe for a lot of success. Oh, that's one of the keys. I think if you were to build the perfect relief pitcher, you'd want a guy that throws a lot of strikes, that minimizes the base on balls, and nobody does it as good as this guy does right now in the game of baseball. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Nico Horner goes down to become the first out in the eighth inning. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's 1 and 1. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Nicky Lopez goes down for out number two in the top half. Willie Mays is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1 0. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Hit down the third baseline. He's got it. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. <laughs> So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. The 1 0 home. Hit back up the middle. And that's a base hit, so a chance for some important insurance here to kick off the bottom of the eighth. Now back, the catcher, Kyle Farmer. In now, Kyle Farmer. 0-1 the count. So far, two for three in this one. Set to deliver the 0-1. Hit the other way out toward right field. Tucker waits on it. And that's the first out of the inning. Stepping in next, Jonathan Scope. He doubled his last time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Tucker will drift over to his left a few steps as he takes it for the second out. Now batting. Next, Third here is base. Austin Riley. Austin. From the stretch, line toward center field. Mays finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. 
All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring in Tommy Edmond. The second baseman, Tommy Edmund. First pitch on its way, and we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here, nothing in one. Now this is a perfect example of why this manager feels so confident going to this beast in the ninth right here. He is throwing absolute thunder right here, pumped up, and looks the part. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Edmund is retired, and there's one away. So the next to bat will be Willie Stargell. Comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. A ball and no strikes. That evens it up one and one. Now here's the pitch. One and two now. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. Line to the right side. And that is in there for a two out base knock. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandon, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. I always remember John Smoltz telling me. The greatest and he struck him out for out number three so that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first this evening's game comes to an end 5-4 the final tally Italy put up four runs in the seventh to carry them to victory Walker Bueller is the winning pitcher of record so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak and our entire crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the new website the show.com School. First for your victorious home team. Five runs, 13 hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. For the visitors, four runs on four hits, one error. They left just one runner on base. Now they bob, I still got paper tags on my car Now I got gophers f***ing up my lawn